realization that uh, our kids' uh, physical condition is, is deteriorating. My wife and I were sitting around uh, three years ago talking about ways we could give back and uh, we talked about volunteering and things like that and then she suggested, well, isn't there something <coughs> you can do with tennis? You love it so much. And almost immediately I thought, there's, there's got to be kids out there who, who can't afford it and let's, let's give it to them. So we are uh, providing equipment and uh, lessons, Tennis Canada instructors, uh, and running classes all, all over the CRD now. We started in central Victoria and now we're, we're covering from uh, Sydney to Souk. Kids have lots of energy and they have to get rid of that energy somehow. So this is a good way to do that. You're doing a lot of running and socializing and uh, uh, learning a skill. And uh, nobody, everybody's not going to like tennis, but at least um, it's introducing the kids to another sport. And some of them are going to love it and some are going to hate it. And uh, some of them might pick it up because it's a sport you can play all your life. So how does this going to work? You will have a partner. I want you guys to just hit back and forth. I actually really enjoy working with the kids. In my case, I wasn't actually able to play any sports growing up. I was too sick. So when I was able to pick it up in adulthood, I was quite fortunate to have a lot of resources to help that. A lot of other kids would not have those opportunities. And not doing sports as a kid, it wasn't actually very enjoyable. When I picked it up, I started feeling a lot better physically and a lot better emotionally. Giving them those tools early on, I think is a great thing. The way we teach it today using using these little rackets and, and balls and small nets that are appropriate to the kid's size, very quickly they, they can become confident. And uh, that's all we need is to get them having fun, not walking off the court feeling frustrated because the racket's too big or the ball's too bouncy. Or... So uh, once, once we get them having fun, they're hooked.